All right, now that we've gone through this exercise and uh, kind of taken our time and explained everything along the way, and you've had a chance to do it as well, uh, I'm going to go through it more or less at speed. Uh, so I'm going to start opening Geometry Expert and create the front face of the part, and then I'm going to do the chamfer of 60 thousandths, and then we have the one inch diameter. Then we have that line at minus 90 minus 45, sorry, 180 plus 45. Actually, either one would have worked. That passes through Z minus 0.840, and that is on that one inch diameter. And then we have the 180 degree line at a diameter of 0.880. Then we have a 90 degree line at minus one. Oops. And then we get to our inch and a quarter diameter. The front of that ring groove is at minus 1.2. The root of that groove is a 1.05 diameter. The back of the groove is at minus 1.3. Back to that inch and a quarter diameter. Now we get a clockwise circle with a radius of 0.2. And then we get a line that's at 90 plus 35. That passes through Z minus 2.4 on that two inch diameter. And then we get to that two inch diameter. And then we get to the line that's 15 off of vertical. So we're gonna say minus 90 minus 15. And it passes through Z minus 2.5 on that two inch diameter. And then the root of that groove is make that 180 just and then we'll make the root of that groove a diameter of 1.7 the back of that groove is an angle of 90 plus 25 and it passes through z minus 2.8 also on that two inch diameter and then we have another little piece of that two inch diameter we have a fillet at the back that's a 0.1 radius. And then that uh, back face there is a Z minus three. The OD is a three inch diameter. The back of the part is at minus 3.8 in the Z. Our through hole is a half inch diameter. Uh, the bottom face of the front counterbore is at Z minus 0.5. And then that counterbore is a five eighths diameter. And we close the shape out. So just, uh, you know, when, when I'm not explaining how to do it, it, it goes a little more quickly. I know it's kind of tedious while I'm explaining every step of the way, uh, but just wanted to show you that this is really not a bad part at all to draw um, using Geometry Expert.